thanks once again for dropping by the channel if you like the content if you're new to the channel please hit subscribe share the video if you enjoyed it, if you felt it was useful i also have an instagram page links in the description it's there on the screen go over there give it a follow if you enjoy it now let's get into this so al Heyman, the unofficial promoter of several fighters the, the man behind pbc he's also the man who has caused his fighters to potentially lose some of the biggest paydays of their career he is the man who has almost brainwashed his fighters into this mentality of you need to cross the road or it comes to Joel Heyman things like that freezing fighters out for no apparent reason other than their arrival network you know looking at sanctioning bodies like the WBO and not even counting them as recognized world titles despite the fact some of your fighters have WBO world titles and then you're paying sanction fees to that sanction body and they're keeping the title you know Andy Ruiz exact example okay what's going on you know what is what is going on over there at PBC you know and I'm asking the question is Al Heyman destroying these fighters career careers or destroying their chances to make life changing sums of money because it looks that way when we have Deontay Wilder, we know Deontay Wilder is not exactly bright, but when he is being, I would say, advised to turn down a hundred and twenty million dollars guaranteed fight with Anthony Joshua, three fight, not even a long term contract with the zone. I mean, is that in a fighter's best interest? If Al Heyman is an advisor, is that a fighter's best interest? You know, advise them to do that. It's definitely not. It's definitely not. We have the Charlos. We've got Jamel Charlo, who I think alluded to the fact that he's not in control of his career, saying that, you know, oh, if, I think it was Demetrius Andre or something like that. It wasn't Demetrius Andre. That's his older, that's his brother. That's his twin, Jamel, Jamal. He was asked about someone, I forget the guys, I forget who it was, but he was saying, look, if that fight came up, I would take it, but it's not up to me. Or words to that effect, that it's not up to me, it's up to Al Heyman. You know, we see guys like Terence Crawford, get frozen out of the welterweight division so much so that when Danny Garcia I forget what fight it was it was the week before his fight and he was interviewed I think it was actually Junior Williams fight he was interviewed sitting in the crowd and you know they asked him you know when you come through your fight who do you want to face and he says I want to fight one of the champions I want Port I want Spence or I want Pacquiao it's like Crawford's the champion you know Terence Crawford you know one of the pound pound best in the sport and just no word no mention and then whenever we do hear Terence Crawford's name being mentioned it's you want to cross the street you know I, I just don't get it I know Al Heyman is trying to keep it in house and he does try and keep it in house as much as he can like other promoters you know other promoters try and keep things in house but not to this level of extreme I mean this is just beyond trying to keep things in house and when I say costing somebody's fighters money Eddie Hearn gave an interview with IFL TV all right, it's about Jamal Charlo, okay, the middleweight, and he said because Charlo re gave in, well, I don't know, it was like a Twitter like video or something like that where he was going in on Eddie Hearn, you know, saying this, saying that, daring Demetrius Andre to come to the Tyson Fury Deontay Wilder rematch, stuff like that. Well, Eddie Hearn came out and he said he's out there telling every man and his dog he's his own boss. So that's what Charlo's saying. They say he's his own boss. Now he says. I don't sort my fights, send him to Al Heyman. Send him to Al Heyman. So he's his own boss, but you send it to Al Heyman first. You had the offer probably three times what you've earned to unify with Demetrius Andre, any chance to reply. That's what Eddie Hearn is saying about the Jamal Charlo. So made amounts of money, good amounts of money, probably more money than Charlo's ever made, and Nothing. No, nothing. It's annoying. It's frustrating. Especially when there's fights that want to be made. And look, at the end of the day, I've always said that I think that Deontay Wilder beats Anthony Joshua. But if Deontay Wilder comes through Tyson Fury and there isn't a trilogy, that Joshua fight's not going to happen. No, it's just, it's not going to happen. Al Heyman is going to try and keep everything in house. I can't see him putting Wilder in there with Joshua. I just can't see it. Can't see it. 
Can't see him allowing that. The only way I can see an undisputed is if AJ fights a PBC fighter and there's no rematch class. Like, say for argument's sake, Adam Kalnaki became mandatory, upset Anthony Joshua. Then we might see undisputed. But, you know, he, I, I can't see it. I can't see it. You know, there was even talk, or rumours, I should say, that the Wilder Fury rematch, Al Heyman didn't want it to happen, but Deontay Wilder insisted upon it. You know? So it really is just... It's head-scratching, to be fair. It's head-scratching. What's going on over there at PBC? And, you know, I, I think Al Heyman... You know, he's done good for boxing. You know, he had good intentions when he started PBC. You know, free to air boxing, buying up all this network time. Obviously, it didn't go exactly the way he wanted it to go. But it's just the last few years, it's just been just crazy over there. You know, it really has been crazy over there. So, you know, I guess I'm just asking, what's, I'm asking the question to like, the people watching my videos. Do you think that the fighters Al Heyman has, and what as well as that, when you look at fighters like you know Andy Ruiz, and especially when before the rematch with Joshua was signed, the things he was saying and the way he was speaking about things, Andy Ruiz was never liked that when he was with Bob Arum. You know, Errol Spence speaking about you know this was a blue collar fight across in the street and just that. You didn't hear these kind of things when you know they were up and coming or they were a different promoter. Why are they saying it now? Now that they're you know PBC fighters, you know, very strange, very strange. So um. Now let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think that Al Heyman is in doing these fighters at a service? Or do you think he's actually in he's actually is looking out for the fighter's best interest? Let me know what you think down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe of course if you're new to the channel. And as always, I will talk to you after.